What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Guys, me and my beautiful wife are here with American with shots by the Spanish differences. So we have Spain, Mexico, Colombia, Chile, Peru, Ooh, Cuba, Chile. and Ecuador. Ecuador. I, I'm familiar with a couple of these, you know. I used I'm to saying? have a friend that was from Peru. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. cool, that's cool. Um, yeah, I've done a couple of these, you know, of course, Mexican culture, <laughs> hints, hints. Uh, Spain, I do a lot. I um, probably only did one video, Colombia, Chile, Peru. Mm -hmm. I haven't done much on I Cuba. Like that, I don't so. know much about Ecuador. Yeah, so I think I know the flag. That's about it. But <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to jump into this. Maybe we'll learn something new today, you know? Yes. See what my wife not teaching me since she speaks Spanish. <laughs> what, you know? Yeah. I'll be trying to give you lessons and you don't want to. Come on now, she giving me a hard quiz for a beginner level guy. Come on. Mm. Now. In Chile we say la tala. La what? La tala. La tala. In Colombia we say cola. <laughs> cola? Yeah, like cola. cola. In, in, in cola? America too. Hello. For example, I mean, each country also has different dialects and stuff. So instead of pronunciation, I would say the vocabulary, the expressions every single Latin American country uses. It's hilarious. I just love it so much. <laughs> what about you guys? Yeah, I think the accent would be harder for someone from Spain or like the US or any other country. But when you are Latin American, you do feel the accent change from country to country. And you're like, that accent. Oh, you're from this country, right? And, or you're like very intrigued if you Hard cannot pinpoint yeah. the accent. You're like, yeah. I don't think it's considered Spanish anymore. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, don't say that. <laughs> no, it's because we have like different words. A lot of different words. That is what. Yeah, they use words in a whole different context. They have something about animals. I met a Chilean friend before, <laughs> and like it's like, oh yeah, we said like this, and I'm like Mexican, like Latin American. Yeah. I'm like, why are you using so many animal names for like all of these type of situations? <laughs> I didn't even know that. Today, Spanish word differences. Kite. Okay, kite. kite. In Spain, okay. we say cometa. In Mexico, okay. it's papalote. Papa. Okay, are you familiar with any of those two? Papalote? Well, that one sounds a little bit more familiar. Yeah. Yeah. I thought. I just realized like I they have a, a American person right there. Yeah. <laughs> you just know that person. <laughs> <laughs> well, how cute. In Colombia, it's also cometa. In Chile, it's cometa. In Peru, it's also cometa. In Cuba, it's papalote. In Ecuador, it's cometa. Sounds so funny. It's so, so cute. And it's like, has the word papa. Papalote. papalote. It's like, a lote of my papa. I don't know. It's <laughs> a, a, a papalote. You were Wait, a lot. And, I don't know, just a box or something from my dad. I don't know. It sounds... <laughs> if you literally trans uh, like, translate the word, it means like something from my dad. Like a lot. Like a... I don't know. A present. Oh. <laughs> I'm stupid. I know it. Oh. It's just like, like, a, like a... Papalote? Corn from my dad. That's what it sounds like? Or that's, that's what, what it she is? said. Oh. Yeah. They were like... Big, they were like <laughs> <laughs> corn for my dad. That's funny. Papagayo, we say. Papagayo. Oh, oh, maybe like, like the a, colors. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's like a papagayo fly, but made of paper. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, we would laugh so hard, but in a cute way. We would think it's would really cute. Though? No, that's why we would laugh. Because when we don't understand something, we don't want to show we're stupid. So we just laugh and then we say, oh, wait, but what was that? <laughs> it's like, but we have to laugh first. Popcorn, popcorn. In Spain, we say palomitas. Yeah, in Mexico, we say palomitas. You're familiar with this? Palomitas. Palomitas. In Colombia, we say Palomitas. crispetas. In Chile, we say cabritas. Oh. In Peru, we say canchita. In Cuba, we say uh, rosa de maíz or rositas de maíz. In Ecuador, we call it canguil. I've heard of palomitas before. Palomitas. But you see cabritas. Cabritas. Yeah, we... <laughs> palomitas. Too. But also, and canchita. No, for us, it's 100% canguil. And you uh, know that in Paraguay, they say. Pororo. 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 Oh, Pororo. Yeah. That one, I don't know where she's from, but she had a long, long name for popcorn. Dang. Um, I forgot where she was from. Peru? No. That was a little bit. so cute. <laughs> and for me, Chris Petas is really curious because in Spain we have five languages and I speak Catalan as well. And we say Chris Petas. So it's quite similar. It was all. Oh. Maybe only Palomitas. I would understand Mexico, Spain, and maybe 
few one because it's like yeah. very graphic. But the other ones, I'm like, can your body understand yeah. Chile? Yeah. Chile cabrita. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I would think it's chicharron or something like that. Chicharron. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Chile right. cabrita yeah. sounds like like an animal actually. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. What you see, you see. Yeah. Cabra, 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 cabra. A little goat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So for me, hearing all of them very different for sure. But I think the one that makes the most sense in my English brain is probably like crispetas because it sounds like crispy. I know, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Crab. Crab. In Spain, cangrejo. Yeah, in Mexico, cangrejo. Colombia too, cangrejo. Is that cangrejo? I mean, I never had to say that word, so. We ate some crab legs before. But not in Spanish. My parents don't mm. eat lobster. That's a crab. Chile, crab and lobster are different. Cangrejo. Cuba is cangrejo. In Ecuador, it's also cangrejo. But but what when we want to buy like a bunch of crabs, we say jaiba. Oh, yeah. So we just use that word, but it means like a bunch. of crabs. In Colombia, we say jaiba only for like a dish made with cangrejo. That's what, yeah. I was gonna say. I think it depends on if it's cooked or not, right? Like yeah. If if it's the shell with the meat inside and some seasoning, it's like jaibas al I don't know what style. But when you say the animal, it's just cangrejo. Cangrejo. A pin. What is pin? What is pin? I say lapis. Lapis. Pluma. Lapis. In Spain, pluma. boli. In Mexico, pluma. In pluma. Colombia, we okay. say lapis. lapicero or oh. espero. In Chile, we say lapis pasta. In Peru, we say lapicero or bolígrafo. In Cuba, we say pluma. In Ecuador, we say esferográfico or espero. Oh, wow. Wow. Wait, wow. wait, wait, wait. That sounds so psychedelic. <laughs> it's kind of describing the shape. It's like this rounded graphic. <laughs> Esferográfico sounds really like artistic. I don't yeah. know, yeah. but I'm most used to pluma. It's like funny I'm because for us in Spain, pluma means in the old times when like people, the plume, yes, like the leather, like yeah. The ink yes, yeah. yes, yes. In Colombia, we say pluma or plumón or when it's like the one with the ink. Yes, yes, yeah. we still do have that one. We have the same. Mm. Mm. That is pasta. Pasta, I mean. Yeah, wow. <laughs> pasta. Pasta. <laughs> pasta, I think, is ah. inside. What is it? So we say pasta is inside, so lapis of pasta. Ah. I just think of spaghetti with a pen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I thought that it was like lapis, but made of plastic pasta. Because like pasta can okay. also be plastic. Makes sense. <laughs> when Spanish people speak, they do use words that old words you know yeah. like the, the words that yeah. we don't use Perhaps on our daily like, lives yeah. so they they sometimes might sound like more formal when they speak but they can also like, sound more rude yeah but they can <laughs> also sound like super yeah. rude okay, so, not in spain, <laughs> <laughs> it's not spain. I, think, I think that's a difference i always have with latin american people is like we use those words as well and it's not even more formal or rude or anything it's just your out like up to your preference and something like I that. I think it's because it's like more straight. When they Maybe. Something. Yeah. yeah, so for us it's like, you don't have filters when you talk. But you are guys <laughs> also soft and cute and already, you know, giving love to everyone and, and we are a little bit more, okay. But we are also when you energetic. Like, vosotros like entendéis? Uy. What is that? <laughs> yeah, we never use vosotros. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> yes, I understand. She's funny. She's so, <laughs> I'm so formal. Yeah. Yeah. Ma'am. We are a little bit more formal, that's She's true. Funny. Flip flops. We say flip flop. What do y'all say? Chancla. Chancla. Oh yeah. In Spain, chancleta. chancletas. In chancleta. Mexico, it's chanclas or sandalias. Basically the same like chanclas. In Chile, we say la tala. La what? La tala. La tala. Bella. But we also say sandalias chancla. or chanclas. In Cuba, we either say sandalia or chancleta. In Ecuador, we also say sandalias or chanclas. But <laughs> what happened? What happened? What happened? In Chile. And this is why we say they don't speak Spanish. <laughs> See? I think so. <laughs> I think I think I like chanclas just because it's like I always picture like the meme of like the mom. For an English speaker, someone chancla, who doesn't chancla. study Spanish, they would recognize sandalitas. Sandalias, I think, because it's sandals. Like sandals. Yeah. And actually, yeah. we also have sandalias in Spain, but it's more for those cute open like shoes nice for summer. Nice yeah, the nice yeah. ones. Yeah, like the like actually, yeah. ones would be sandalia, and the one that, like, you know, like Hawaiian. Yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. Like the plastic one, like Hawaiianas, those oh. are chanclas. But like the yeah. cute ones you wear with dresses and stuff yeah. are sandalias. Dog. So in, in English, we would just say butt, but I think it differs for you. No, in, in Spain.
Culo. Culo o trasero. Trasero. Yeah. Culo. Trasero. But for us, like, culo is such a strong word. Yeah. yeah. Like kind of like you're being rude. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it has it's that more feeling. More like for like reggaeton songs. Yeah. 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 Uh, in Mexico, I don't know. We have many words. We have like trasero. Yeah, sí. but I think culo is like, wait, like, like calm down. Yeah. Like, yeah. In Colombia, we say cola. Cola? cola. Yeah, like cola. cola. In, in, in cola. Too. cola. Your cola, cola actually cola. means tail. So it's like. Yeah. Ah, tail. okay. In Chile, we say foto. <laughs> in Peru, we say foto too. <laughs> like butter? Yeah. Foto. Foto. Uh, actually, foto. we have, uh, foto. for example, oh, in foto. Peru. Poto, yeah. Popo. Yeah. Also, we have an animal that is mono poto rojo. We can have the albawin. Yeah, have the boot red. If you want to say it like like strongly, you can say culo or las nalgas. Like mm. nalgas. Nalga. Nalga. Yeah. Nalga. Yeah. Nalga. Yeah. When it hurts, just on one side you say la nalga izquierda. <laughs> <laughs> Trasero sounds more Tracero? like not too explicit. Yeah. It's funny or to watch them like all laugh at each explicit. other because like yeah. you can understand, but like the meanings like we've explained are so different across like across the world and in different countries and stuff. So it's really fun. It's really interesting for me because now I know a bunch of different ways to understand the oh, same word. Actually, I feel a little bit out of place because it's like. <laughs> from another place in our planet and I can feel the differences but they are kind of connected to each other in some kind of way and I feel completely different <laughs> but I really loved it they have a really like, rich uh, culture and I really I feel like Chile is like the odd one out because there's like a lot of them wasn't like you think so oh yeah, yeah Chile, Chile yeah Chile yeah. for sure but I mean I think what she's trying to say all of Macloca you know Spain is in Europe yeah. So everybody else is in the Americas and yeah. stuff like that. So that could be a different because European culture, American culture is different. Really like it. For me, I'm just thinking I'm not <laughs> talking in Spanish anymore like with these girls at all. <laughs> if I speak, I try to use like my Spanish like the very basic. So it's funny to see that I maybe the most like difficult Spanish to understand. So yes, yeah, funny. So today we talked about Spanish word differences. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe or leave a comment and we'll see you soon. Bye! Bye. <laughs> That was actually a pretty interesting, interesting video. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah. Yeah, I usually do like a couple of those videos. We should uh, do from some more. Countries. That's yeah, pretty nice. That's fun. But Spanish is different between Spain, Colombia, Venezuela. So it's a lot to tap into. A lot to tap into. World yeah. friends. These are good. These are real good. But we appreciate you guys. I learned some new words. You know what I'm saying? How do you say but? See, I'm thinking of the more explicit way. Cool. How do you say thing. kite? Kite. Uh, Shoot, I forgot that fast. <laughs> I forgot that fast. <laughs> you like you putting me on the spot. She put me on the spot. Papalote. 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 You know what I'm saying? I knew that. You know. <laughs> See, this is the thing. You know, I knew some new word, but I gotta go back. You know, I'm yeah. not. You know, we just. You just remember the butt. Just, you just remember, but it was the most recent day we just did. Nah, like, we see where your mind is. It's recent. Then there's plum right here. The peach. Oh, we know what peach means. Right there. We know what peach <laughs> means. But no, it was the last thing that was spoken to. You know, kite. Mm, okay. You know, pen. You know those things like that. But you know what I'm saying. Hey, I've been. Like, I know a little bit of Spanish. Well, how do you say me. pen in Spanish? Then? Luz, la luz. What was it? Doesn't it start with an L? Oh, I'm thinking of something else. Lapicero, Lapicero. or pluma. Pluma, pluma. Yeah. That's what I was like. That's what I was thinking. Like, it was in my head the whole time. You know, I just had to put it in the front of my brain. <laughs> but we enjoyed this. We hope you guys did as well. If y'all have any more recommendations yeah, for us, drop, hey, them, down drop below. them below. We'll check it out. But that's all we have. Hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Y'all be blessed. Be the be best, best to be you. you. We out.